and welcome to another episode of Game Guru Max live broadcast. But it isn't. No, it isn't. It's not a live broadcast. I, how dare I call it such? It is the first ever pre recorded broadcast. Um, for reasons beyond my control, I couldn't be here at exactly 4 pm to do this live, so I figured the next best thing was a recording that I then released at exactly 4pm GMT on Wednesday, so please forgive me for that. It was absolutely unavoidable, but I did have enough pre-warning to be able to make this small recording, and I have a pretty good bet we'll be able to get them to the 15 minutes this time. It does, of course, mean there's no live chat, so you won't be able to ask your questions live to me, but I will be answering your questions once I post this up on the Game Guru forums with a recording of this, and then you can ask your questions there and I will answer them there. So it's the next best thing to the garbled verbal replies that I can provide live. So I want to skip straight to the software because I want to show you some of the things that I've been working on, well, rather my team. And it's two things, basically. I want to show you something that's happening on the left side of the screen. More importantly, I want to show you something that's happened to the new light properties system. So you'll see it right away, anyone that's familiar with our builds. There is now a lot of extra buttons on the left, uh, eight in total. So I'll come back to the add light. I just want to show the other ones because I can skip through them relatively quickly. Whereas before, when you had to go to object library to find the game elements, choose the one you want and drop it in. What a rigmarole. No, you can just select the game element you want, drop it right in. So for example, this would be a wind zone. This one here in green, that's um, uh, a video area. So you step into this area and it plays a video. You've got this one, enter this area and it plays music. Enter this zone and it displays some text. Enter this zone, it will play a sound effect. And you enter this zone and you'll basically have an image pop up on the screen for you. This one, there's a future broadcast about this, but this is the particle system. So you can instantly drop in a particle and then configure it to whatever particle you want really easily and quickly. But what would that look like? Well, I can give you a glimpse of what it might look like because the design of the particle um, property system is going to be very similar to what the light system was designed to do, which I'm going to show you right now. But before that, I do that, I want to put down a bit of ground just so you appreciate the colours of the lights better because when you're on a very bright grey grid, you don't really see it in its best light, pardon the pawn. And that should about do it. So now, here's the magic. Click Add Light, drop it in. You've instantly got a light. How easy was that to drop in a light? What's the next easiest thing we can do? Well, we can change its colour. We can change it to blue, red, green. We could have as a red spotlight or a green spotlight. Of course, we can continue to move it around as we would like. Um, another really cool feature, let's say I kind of like that, um, but I want a different colour. Well, you can do something called Add Light. So add that light like so. I can select that and then choose a different colour. Maybe I want this sort of purple, deep purple colour. So I'll select that. And this is my personal palette. The first 16 are basically defaults that we start you off with. But you've, of course you can change these defaults. Let's say... You don't really like that red, so I'll put it back to a point, a spotlight. Uh, sorry, a point light. Um, but you see that red is a bit pastel. -y. You can actually knock it right up to two five five zero zero, pure red, and it remembers that within your uh, sixteen uh, item palette. So you can carry that around. For example, if I dragged in another light, and I wanted it, you see, it's already set to that. So if I have that, uh, it's set to that. I can set it to there. If I wanted my deep purple one, I can set you to purple and go and set you to buy deep purple. So as you can see, not only do you have quick access to be able to change the type of the lights and the colour, but you can set up your own colours and types and get to them instantly every time you want to drag in a light. So that's a super, super quick way of sorting out both type and colour. It goes without saying, let's say I just select a standard old red light with range. If I change that range, you can see how the range changes bigger and smaller. I think we all would expect to have control of a light range and you've already seen light colour but this is the bit I'm really proud of. Now the scripts aren't coded yet but look how easy it is now. Not only can you just drop in a light but you can tell the light what it has to do. Whether it just sits there and just stays on or it could flicker 
or it could, um, sorry, flame, so it's like a fire or a candle, something like that. Flickering is more of an electronic one. Pulse, that's what you would use if you want to switch a light switch on and off and a light in a room comes on and off. A light that rotates, maybe you want something that rotates around, or like a spotlight rotating around. And then the light strobe is what you would get, let's say, in a red alert situation where it's sort of glowing in and out, but staying in the same direction and not rotating. So very quickly I could say, right, I've added in a light, I want it to be a candle or a campfire or something, select that, boom. And then once you've done that, then you've got a description of it and you can change some of its properties. So as you can see, the ability now to drop in a light is super quick, but also the ability to customise that light and at a glance see what the light does. For example, that little red one, which maybe I want a little bit more um, orange because it's maybe a, a campfire. Go back to that one, we know that's a solid one. Go back to that one, we know it's a candle. So you can instantly see the behaviours associated with the lights as well. And as I hinted at, a similar easy to use system will be applied for particles as well. So anything that you used to be able to dive through the object library to find these game elements, we've now brought straight to the front screen because you're going to want to use them and get an access to them and find them very quickly. And so this is where we've put them. And we'd really like to hear what you think of uh, our latest innovation on the front screen. Because one thing we don't want to do is clutter the first screen full of buttons. So let us know what you think. Are the buttons too big? Are the buttons too small? Do you want more buttons? Etc. Etc. So once again, sorry for this non-live broadcast situation. Uh, it really couldn't be avoided, but I hope you enjoyed the reveals. Um, like I said, this will be available this Friday. So if you're a pre-order user, and if you aren't, you can get a pre-order discount now of 25%. And with that, every Friday, you'll be able to play these builds. What I talk about every Wednesday, you get to play with on a Friday. Um, so and of course it always it helps us develop the software as we move on anyone who's pre-ordered so thank you very much for that so until next Wednesday 4 p.m. GMT well it really will be live fingers crossed I hope I hope you enjoyed today's broadcast and unless something else happens I will actually see and speak to you all again next Wednesday at 4 p.m. GMT so until then thanks for your patience and goodbye